you don't stop sinning to be saved. This is where many people go wrong. They think that I will stop uh, doing my sin, my sin and then I come and be saved. Others will say, ah, bro, I want to stop drinking and then I come and be saved. <laughs> I've had this line for a very long time, people saying that. And then I wonder, how are you going to stop sinning by your own effort? It is not possible. We have been there. Even myself has been there. I was a drunkard. But my friend, I could not stop sinning to come and be saved. It is the work of the Holy Spirit to help you stop sinning. So what you do, you get saved. That's why Jesus said, come as you are. Do not come, don't change and then come. Come as you are. And then God is going to send his Holy Spirit. Who is going to sanctify you? Is going to wash you. What? What is sanctification? Is literally just washing. He's going to wash you. He's going to clean you up. He's going to change your old behaviors, and that is why people are still wondering. Hey, man, I have this problem. I, I, I just want to stop it first and come to God. They think that by your own uh, strength, there is anything you can stop. You can't. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. It says, And such were some of you, but you are washed, but you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. So who washes us? It is the Spirit of God. If you are a thief, come just as you are, even with your stealing. Come the way you are. Think about the thief on the cross. Did he first go back to say apologies to the people that he stole from? Maybe he raped some people. Maybe he did some things. No. All that he needed was is to put his faith in Jesus Christ. And from there, everything was changed at that moment. And uh, when we check also uh, uh, in the book of Romans 15, 16, it says to be a minister of Jesus Christ. This is Apostle Paul saying that he is a minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles. Ministering as a priest of the gospel of God so that my offering of the Gentiles may become acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Who is that being sanctified? That the Gentiles who are going to be saved through Paul's ministry are going to be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. They are going to be washed by the Holy Spirit. It is that Holy Spirit who washes us, my friend. You cannot get saved by your own strength. It is not by our own strength. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace are we saved through faith. It is not of ourselves. It is a gift of God. It is not something that we do. It is not by our own strength. People think that, my friend, what I've done, I think God has to save me. No, you cannot be saved by what you've done. It is by the grace of God. You cannot stop smoking by your own way. It is when you get saved, when you get saved and you tell God, now I'm your child, help me stop smoking. He's going to help you out. There are so many people who are into the dark world, people who maybe went to witch doctors and uh, and uh, went and did some agreements, covenants, and took some uh, uh, demons out there. And then they are still struggling. Oh, pastor, please pray for me. I want to get out this demon which is tormenting me every night. I can't sleep. And then the problem is, somebody will pray for you. Probably the demon will run away for a few days. And then you have nothing within you. So the demon will just go, you know, make some few rounds and come back again and check. Is this guy still alone? He finds <laughs> the house is still clean. There is nobody there. There is no Holy Spirit in there. So the demon will go and tell other seven demons, hey, come, let's stay in. And the last state of this person is worse than the way they were. That's why you see in most prosperity churches, those ones, they're always casting demons out and deliverance churches. People are always delivered every Sunday. Why don't those people end? Why are they always doing deliverance services every Sunday? Because those people, they have demons over and over, over and over. And the same people who have been delivered last year, they are still the same people being delivered. Why? Because they think, that there is something that they can do apart from salvation. If you want those demons to go, if you want those troubles to go, get saved. 
when you get saved, then the Holy Spirit is going to sanctify you. He's going to clean you up. He's going to remove everything which has been within you. It's just like, think about, uh, you take a glass and then you pour some uh, some soil or maybe some dirt inside there. And then you take that glass and you put it uh, and, and you start sprinkling it with water from a tap. What happens after three minutes? As the tap is pouring in water, okay, clean water into that glass which is full of mud, that glass is becoming pure and clean and clean. And finally, you have clean water. What happened? It has been sanctified. That is exactly how God sanctifies us. He changes us. He cleans us up. I remember when I got saved, I, I was still a drunk. I was still in bad dance all the time with my friends. And uh, I was still feeling guilty. I, I, I'm still going to the bars. I feel, oh God, please help me out because I still have that thirst. I want to go and drink. I still want to go and uh, and uh, smoke some weed. I just want to go and do all these uh, nasty things that everybody does. But then I kept on telling God, God, please help me out, sanctify me. And let me tell you, the desire slowly started going out. When I go to those bars, I feel... I don't want to stay near the speakers. I don't want to stay near the DJs. I just want to stay at the balcony. The next day, I feel like, mm, I wish we just go to another bar which is not so noisy. The next day, can we just have fun at ha in the house? The next day, do we really need to drink beers? Can we just have some tea and enjoy ourselves? You see, God kept on sanctifying me. And he can sanctify you as well. He can change you well. Because we don't... Stop sinning so that we come to be saved. We get saved with all our troubles. And then he changes us bit by bit. He changes us. He cleans us up. Even when Jesus was teaching his disciples, they didn't get all the information in one day. Slowly and slowly he was teaching them. Slowly and slowly they got to understand him. And as you read the word of God, the Bible says, Out of your belly shall proceed living waters out of your belly that living water is the holy spirit he shall ooze out from you slowly by slowly you shall be filled with the holy spirit to a point that you'll be feeling that everything around you is all god but before probably you weren't feeling the same probably you had a problem probably you're this kind of people that nobody can trust how do you gain trust from people slowly when they start seeing things changing in you and that is how god changes us and that is how god molds us okay so this will do was just to tell you that um you don't need to stop sinning to be saved just come as you are come as you are god is going to help you he's going to change you he's going to mold you okay instead get saved and he shall help you stop because that is where people go wrong